This is Stable Street Thousand's podcast. Podcast. You will be seeing the n- latest news and many more. And now, here is your host of the show, David Three Thousand. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the David Three Thousand podcast. I am David Three Thousand, and we have a special we have a special guest here. And tell them names in the chat. Voice chat. Uh, my name is King Jones. Yeah, the Danny. I'm Danny Lewis, Game Show Fan 2001, host of Game Show Fan Podcast. I'm Jahad. I'm a current reigning champion of Card Sharks. Mm-hmm. And I'm Andrew Hawking. I'm the I'm the permanent guest, I'm the permanent host of Card Sharks, and current host of High Roll. <laughs> Yep. Alright, I'm always talking to you. I am the announcer of Success Day. Yep. Alright. So, All right. we're going to talk about today is game shows, TV shows, um, hey. video games. I remember online. game shows. What? Game shows. Yeah, we're talking about that too. So, who wants oh. to start? So, who wants to start? I would. <laughs> okay, Palmer. What do you want to talk about? Okay, there was this one game show. I don't know if you guys heard of it before. It's called Friend or Foe. Have you heard of it? I've heard, I heard of it. it. I heard, I heard, heard it. it. Okay, oh, but God, for those who, let me see. Those who, have, for guys, who have it, for those who haven't heard of it, that are watching or listening, one sec, please. Explain. Friend or Foe is basically a quiz game show where it tests your general knowledge and trust of a stranger. Hmm. Hmm. You guys uh, have to work together to build a team, Bang. The, the two top teams with the most amount of money moves on, but the losing team has to play Friend or Foe for the bank that they earned with the questions that they got right. Hmm. Um, and here's want- how the friend or foe thing. Here's where the friend or foe thing gets all backstabbed. Um, can I say something for one sec, please? Sure. Just go right ahead. All right. Have you heard of the Price is Right? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Me too. Me uh, finish. So there's a train thing called the Price is Right train. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Full story. Right train. You know that incident happened in 2014? There's a cop crash. Yes, oh, yes yeah. I know that. Yeah, <laughs> I know that. Anyway. Let's go back to Fred or Foe. Slumber, take it away. Okay. Okay. The finals? As I, as I was saying, it's where, this is where it gets backstabby. Mm. Here's how it goes down. You can split the money evenly if they both choose friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if they both choose friend, they split the money even taking home whatever they earn, splitting it in half. But if one picks friend and the other breaks the fifth by choosing foe, which happens quite a lot, foe takes all the money and friend leaves with nothing. But if they both choose, if they both choose foe, nobody gets any money and it all goes to the house. And that's basically the backstabbing right. part of it. Because a lot of people can be really game. greedy when it comes to money. So, what ever heard of the Price is Right? Not Any States comments show. you guys want to make about Friend or Foe before we move on? I thought Friend or Foe was one of the best shows GSM had. It's a shame it didn't last too longer. Yeah. I agree with you, Danny. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me do a discussion on Game Tech. Okay. Oh, game tech. How could I begin with? Um, oh, that game tech made, made games based on their game shows, including Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Press Your Luck, other game show games like Hollywood Square and other game shows. Hmm. Maybe the other one, you mean the other one, Classic Concentration? Is that the other one? Uh, I think I, now that game tech, I think it was. Oh. 
So who haven't heard of the Price is Right live stage show? Occasionally, yeah. Also, game based on the Nickelodeon show called Double Dare. Yeah, I heard that before. I missed that show. Um, and Nickelodeon says Game Tech. I know two games that are better than Double Dare. What is it? Um, it was Nick Arcade and Legends of the Hidden Temple. Hmm. So. Wait a minute. What? Game Tech is now making games based on shows like Yogi Bear's Bird Rush on the Game Boy. Hmm. Okay. I didn't know. The topic is game shows right now, but okay, continue. Family Feud did a game in Tech. They released it on 1991 for the NES. This is an SNES in 1993, and the video version released in 1994. Mm. Okay. Alright, yeah. Family Feud is the best game tech movie ever. Mm. You know, beggars can be choosing. What? what? Something very weird. Mm. Hasbro did the game on Family Feud. Mm. Also, Global Star and Ubisoft. Oh. Okay. He came out which. <laughs> Who remembers Family Food 2010 edition? I do. That was a good I game. do. I've seen it on YouTube. I, I think kind of do. Family, Family Feud Decades was the best game in that uh, series. Yeah. Same here. I have to agree. So. Okay. Okay, anybody else want to talk about a different game show? I uh, will. I do. I will. Okay, um... Race is a game show. Okay. So, you already had your... Caden, you already had your turn. Let someone else have a turn now. I'm going next. Okay, okay, okay. who said it? I, I said it. it. I'm going next. Alright. Does everybody know a game, game show called Wheel of Fortune? Yes. Uh, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune is on a different single system. Which is from the computer, which all the way to Xbox, Xbox, Xbox One, and 360. One of the best game shows ever, and it still keeps on going. We all fought this for a while. It's only rivaled time. by one other competitor, and that's Jeopardy. What? I know. Huh? Sony made Real Fortune and Jeopardy. Hmm. It's basically Jeopardy and Will Switch and I are just competing for the top spot. Yeah. So do you know do you know Nintendo 64 days made Jeopardy and Will Fortune 2? No. Uh, I didn't know Nintendo 64. What? Nintendo 64 in the game? Yep. So Will Fortune and Jeopardy. On the on the N64. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So their rivalry goes way back. Hmm. Don't know about that. What do you think? Which, which game should you think is going to come on top? Which game uh, should you think will come out on top in the end, Andrew? I want to say Will. I want to say Will Fortune. Will Fortune is yeah. the best game, so it's got to be at least on top of the list. Also, Will Fortune is a little bit easier than Jeopardy. When Will Fortune is easy, you always just bend the wheel and get the letter of the puzzle and, and solve it. That's all it takes. Yeah. I honestly think Jeopardy will win only because it's more of, it's like Will of Fortune, but it's more of a challenging kind of a thing. It really tests oh, your brain. Of and the no, 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 no. Jeopardy is the, Jeopardy is the toughest game ever ever game to play. True. Well, fortune is kind of easy. It's kind of easy for real fortune. That's the beauty. 
That's the beauty of Jeopardy. It's tough. It's meant to be challenging. Yeah. Because nothing is really ever easy. It's meant to be challenging. Well, Wheel of Fortune can be tough for some people. <clears throat> A group of pill pushers? <laughs> It was tough for that guy at Wheel of Fortune. I can imagine you can imagine what you can right now. Oh. Yeah. Okay, who was that? What? What is next? Four. Who would like to go next, please? I will. Who used it? Five dollars. Two new to our announcement. Who's next to talk about it? Two hundred and fifty-nine. Oh, go next. Dollars. And five correct more are left ninety-five. I would like to go next. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so so far the people that have talked are myself, Caden, and Andrew. The announcer, David, and Game Show fan two hasn't spoken yet. So who would like to go? Who would you? like to go? Game show fan. I will. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I will. One of my favorite. I have two shows I can talk about. Uh, who remembers Lingo? Me. I do. Uh, I do. Yeah. yeah. Lingo. <laughs> Lingo. Yeah. Lingo was one of the most popular shows. Yeah. And, uh, I think the first, the best season of that era. Honestly, I the, think Lingo is really. Honestly, I honestly think Lingo is underrated. Yeah. We'll do some yeah. on Lingo soon. I would like it to be back on Game Hi, Luke. Hey. Hi, Luke. Hey. Did 20 of the first season episodes, they were changing the Netherlands. I thought that was the best season just because it was oh, weird. 